We begin with news of another bloody domestic dispute. This time, an eight-year-old boy was stabbed to death and his mother in hospital battling for life following an incident in Old Harbor Glade, St. Catherine. It's alleged that they were attacked by the woman's common-law husband. TVJ's Kalisha Williams has that story. Police and crime scene investigators combing a scene in Old Harbor Glade, St. Catherine, early Saturday morning. This after an eight-year-old boy was stabbed to death and his mother badly injured. This man, I wake up and I hear the noise out and when I go up, I say, my auntie and him and the police, them in IG for the little youth. I tell the police to run with the little youth and go save him life. I cry, all water drop out of my eyes and I know my kids. Head of the St. Catherine South Police Division, Senior Superintendent Clive Blair, told our news team that the police acted as soon as they were alerted. However, the eight-year-old boy could not be saved. They were taken to the Spanish Town Hospital where the eight-year-old boy was pronounced dead. And um, the mother is admitted and presently undergoing treatment. She's serious but stable. The suspect, the eight-year-old's stepfather, was taken into police custody. However, residents believe the incident is simply another case of domestic dispute gone wrong. The woman not gone away. The woman just come at the gate all the while, send the youth to the shop. I don't know if they say the woman not give him no bun. That's why he's in, into the people himself. SSP Blair said he understands the boy's mother and his stepfather have been in conflict for some time. However, no police reports were made. But those disputes were never brought to the attention of the police. I am imploring citizens in every community that when disputes arise, even if the couple are the persons who are, are, are involved in these disputes, don't bring it to the attention of the police. The citizens in the very same community that sees these disputes happening, I am imploring them to bring it to the attention of the police that we can have an early intervention to prevent things like this from happening. The incident has again highlighted the need for persons to learn to resolve disputes peacefully. Kalisha Williams, TVJ News.